Stober reducers can be mounted with a torque arm bracket or a teardrop torque arm bracket. The teardrop torque arm bracket is fastened onto the reducer via the threaded holes on the output face, generally on the machine side of the reducer. With this bracket, there are 12 possible torque arm positions. Stober can provide a torque arm bracket that can be utilized by a range of free-floating mounting assemblies. These assemblies include turnbuckle torque arm, threaded rod torque arm, and fabricated steel torque arm. When torque arm mounting your reducer, identify the mounting position and the mounting bolt holes needed for securing the torque arm bracket. These holes, which can be found on side 1 or side 5 of the reducer, have nylon bolts in place to protect the reducer. Only remove the nylon bolts necessary to attach the torque arm bracket. Leave the remaining nylon bolts in the reducer. Secure the torque arm to the reducer. The purpose of the torque arm is to allow the reducer to float freely with the shaft. The turnbuckle assembly pivots from the torque arm bracket to mount in an acceptable location. The threaded rod torque arm uses a threaded rod through the torque arm bracket that is bolted to the machine. The fabricated steel torque arm can be fabricated from steel and mounted in an acceptable location. The user may also fabricate their own torque arm bracket assembly. The fabricated torque arm uses the mounting holes in the reducer housing to mount the torque arm directly to the machinery. The slots and space bolt allow the drive to float freely. A hollow quill or wobble-free reducer should not be rigid mounted. The runout of the shaft will transmit a radial shaft load into the bearings, which could result in premature bearing failure. This will void the Stober warranty. For more information on detailed mounting techniques, contact a Stober representative today. Stober, geared to a higher standard.